All right, guys, what's going on? Still TLR for life here, and this is going to be the second section of my build, rebuild, and inspection series. And this one's on the buggy, as you can see. So um, <clears throat> I did really well in buggy. I think I already did kind of a race recap on there. Um, this guy held together extremely well, so I'm not anticipating really any parts to uh, to be wore out or need to be replaced. Again, outside of some bearings, which is considered normal. Um, everything ran good. Engine ran good. Car held together awesome. Setup was great. I was running Proline Taser M4 compound. And the reason why I used the Super Soft compound, which is the M4, is because my main race was at night. The track temperature was cooler. And um, this was after... 30 minutes of runtime and they're hardly even wore out and they were hooked up. Um, there's just very little little signs of wear on the pins that are probably you can't even see. Um, I actually like these. Blockades seem to work really well at our track but I, I seem to have liked these tasers better. Um, I'm gonna try an M3 compound at that track uh, during the day when the track temperature is hotter to see if I like it. I will also try these to see which one I'm going to like better. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I think start on the front section first. Tear it down, show you guys what she looks like. Give you some pointers on uh, how I clean it. But you would just follow the same thing as you did on uh, when I did my Truggy cleanup. <clears throat> so we just use basically simple green and water. Um, naturally, keep everything away from the bearings. You're going to take your bearings and stuff out. Um, just scrub the plastic only. Um, one tip that I did on the Truggy that I didn't show you guys is any screw that is not going to hold um, uh, with Loctite, um, it's a good idea, at least for me I think it is, is to, I kind of lay the screws out on like a, on a rag or something and then just give them a little coating of WD-40 that way your screws uh, when it picks up moisture from the track they'll be less prone to rusting. Um, when the screws rust out and if they're hard to get out a lot of times with that rust you know it's like acid etching it'll break the screw. So uh, yeah you just keep your screws nice and clean. A they go in easier and come out easier and B they won't rust. So uh, especially if you're if, if some tracks are using um, like some type of aid on the track like like uh, calcium chloride or something um, you know uh, you want to keep your parts rust free because that calcium chloride is no different than salt it'll rust uh, rust out your uh, your parts so um, okay I'm gonna get started tearing it apart if you guys have any questions or whatever feel free to ask away I've been helping out uh, a few people here in this uh, in this build series uh, whether it be with engine tuning or cleaning or whatever and uh, you guys seem to like this kind of stuff so uh, if you guys like it uh, let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do to uh, keep this interesting and make it uh, as informative as possible for you guys. Oh, you know what? I did have an issue with this buggy too. I just realized, um, <laughs> believe it or not, <clears throat> I blew out a high tech 7955 throttle servo. Um, but the, then again, that servo I had bought used three years ago from my friend. And I think he had it for almost three years. So that thing lasted six years. It did its job. Um, what I'm going to do is because of high tech, uh, they will repair it for you. The last guy, I was going to throw it away, and then the guy said, you know, just send it into high tech. He said, they fixed mine, which went out on it was the motor, and I think that's the same thing that went out on mine. So uh, he said for 65 bucks they f uh, fixed it. So that basically half off, um, uh, half off on a servo because the new servos, uh, 7955, the second generation or whatever it is they're calling them, uh, they're about 120 bucks. So if I can save myself 65 bucks, get it fixed um, and they'll send it back that's fine what I'm using right now is uh, my older Airtronics um, 94780 I don't think they make this servo anymore I don't know why it was an awesome servo it's really more for steering it's got like 424 ounces of torque at 6 volts so now this is a 6 volt rated servo I am running an unregulated lipo battery to it I've done it in the past I've had zero issues um, 
so I'm not really concerned if it blows out it blows out if it doesn't that's fine too but um, I haven't you know if you if you run a good servo and it's only rated for six volts if it's a if it's a higher end servo chances are running an unregulated lipo to it isn't gonna hurt the lifespan of the servo too much so it just goes to show you a lot of people are scared to do it me I don't care hey if it works I'm using it so uh, but luckily I had this as a backup um, I, I am a big fan of high-tech but uh, you know something to get you by is uh, whatever works man so um, always have some backup servos in your pit bag and, and stuff like that if you're gonna be going out to the track um, you just never know what can happen so you can't ever have enough too many spare parts so uh, like I said I'm a, I think I'm gonna get started on this and um, stay tuned for uh, after I have the front end torn down and I'll show you guys some things to look out for this buggy's coming up on almost a whole full season of race and it's held together really well haven't really broken any other parts other than uh, things that were caused by either my own stupidity or uh, just uh, acts of God if you will so um, like I said let me get this tour apart I can explain more as I get it apart and show you guys what to look out for and and how to inspect some things and um, show you guys how I uh, maintain my stuff I just want to keep up to date every day and every time I do this I kind of learn something new myself even though I've been at this hobby for a very long time um, you know it's kind of like uh, John says on the Nitro RC nerds the time you stop learning it's time to give it up because uh, you're never gonna know anything anyway so uh, that's a very good thing also do check those guys out the Nitro RC nerds they have some really awesome uh, videos and uh, a lot of good informative stuff he's got a very wide variety of different vehicles um, he has a Mugen he has a Losi, he's got a uh, Savage, he's got just tons and tons of these cars. So, um, you know, you can take all these skills and uh, apply them to any any vehicle, really. But um, if you're looking for something specific, like a Hyper 7 or anything, go check him out. I mean, he, you know, he, he knows uh, actually probably more vehicles than I do like the back of his hand uh, I'm just really familiar with the Losi stuff um, you know uh, but you know all all of them are almost basically the same in a sense um, as far as mechanics yes um, design no so anyway I'm not gonna ramble on too much guys um, I wanna get this video series started so I just figured I'd give you guys a quick uh, recap and, and a quick explanation on what, what's going on here Sorry it's been so long for these videos, but uh, I think I'm back up to snuff on uh, doing videos more often, so uh, you guys can look forward to that. I apologize to all my great subscribers. You guys have been really patient and really cool, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am to uh, see my channel start rocking again. So thanks again, guys. I'll cut this short now, and uh, we'll talk to you guys real soon. Thank you.